put your wire into it and then close the lever and then everything is nice and tight and secure and you're pretty much done. There are a few big problems when it comes to installing traditional light switches and Leviton aims to solve these problems with this. This is the latest and greatest in their Decora lineup and this is the new Decora Edge. So in this video we're going to talk about what makes this special and unique, what big pain points this thing solves, and whether or not it's worth the extra money. Now the first thing you'll notice about the new Decor Edge is that there are no terminal screws on this. There are a few funny looking levers that are built into this and it looks like there are some holes that look similar to a backstab method, but these are completely different than that and I'll explain what those are here in a second. This is a big contrast to what we're traditionally used to seeing with a light switch or even a receptacle where we have typical terminal screws to make the connections and we have some other options as well, but most of the connections are usually made with the terminal screws on the sides of a light switch or on a receptacle. On this, there's, there's nothing, there's no exposed metal at all. Now the fact that this is entirely encased in plastic I think is going to solve a big pain point when it comes to DIYers who are not used to doing a lot of electrical work. By this being completely encased in plastic, you're going to eliminate the possibility of this shorting out, especially once this is installed in the box, and especially if you have multiple light switches that you're installing into the same box. Speaking of installing multiple light switches, I think that's another good point to bring out here because with traditional light switches, they are prone to being installed at a slight angle or maybe spaced out a little bit too far to where when you're installing that face plate back in place, that it's going to make that really difficult. So you'll have to maybe loosen these up, space these out again, get everything just right so that face plate lines up just perfectly and covers everything up. Well, you don't have to worry about that with this new Decor Edge line because Leviton has included an additional feature that makes lining everything up a lot easier. So on the top here, you can see there's a little notch on the side and then there's a little tab on this side. And what that's going to allow you to do is when you install this into a multi-gang box, you just have to line these tabs up and it's going to space this out perfectly for you and make sure everything is straight and not crooked one way or the other. So that's gonna make installing that faceplate a lot simpler and a lot faster. So now that we've talked about some of the minor improvements to this design, let's go ahead and talk about the elephant in the room, which are these tabs. So these tabs are a direct replacement for terminal screws. And as you can see here in the back, the wires simply go into these slots. And then these levers use a spring to clamp down onto the wire to make a solid connection. Now I'm gonna demonstrate what this looks like. It's really super simple. All you have to do is put the wire into the slot, make sure it's stripped to the right length, flip the tab over, and then your connection for that wire is made. There's really not anything else you have to do and it doesn't get much easier than that. If you need to rewire a receptacle or replace it, all you have to do is flip the tab back open, take the wire out and you're good to go. Another nice benefit of this type of connection is not only will they accept 14 gauge wire, but they'll also accept 12 gauge wire, which is not something you can do with a traditional design. If you're using the backstab method, you have to use 14 gauge wire or 14-2, um, as opposed to 12-2, which is very typical in a lot of instances, especially when it comes to kitchens. Now, I'm not going to get into the debate of whether or not backstabbing is a good or if it's a bad process. I'm gonna leave that up to you. Be sure to leave me a comment below. Let me know your opinion on backstabbing in general and whether or not you feel it's a good process, a good method, or something that no one should use. Now, as opposed to a backstab method, this is more similar to a Wago or Wago lever nut. So a lever nut is a direct replacement to a traditional twist on wire nut that lets you make splices for electrical wire. Now, I think these are really great, but the problem with this is you can only splice wires together. You can't do the final terminations all the way down to the light switch or even the receptacle. So Leviton solved this problem by building this into the back of this. And I think this is a great addition for DIYers because again, it's going to make the job that much simpler. Now, if you're a professional electrician, you may or may not want to go this route because you're probably used to your processes, your method, and that's absolutely fine. But if you're looking for faster turnaround when it comes to a job, maybe you just have to go in and actually replace a light switch or replace a receptacle, and it is the Decora style, this might be a really good option for you because you'll be able to get in and get out really, really fast. Now, in addition to a single pole light switch, Leviton does make a three-way version. So if you're having to wire up any three-way switches, this is another great option. As you can see here, this has color-coded levers. So these red tabs are for the traveler, and then this black one is for your common wire. Also on the back, they've included test ports. So once this is wired up, you can still insert a multimeter probe to check and make sure that everything is wired up properly, especially if you're having to troubleshoot an issue and you're not sure if the wiring is correct or not.
The fact that they've included a lever and a connection point for a ground is a really nice addition in my opinion because if you even if you're used to installing a traditional light switch or a receptacle using the backstab method, you still have to make your ground connection with a screw. This totally eliminates that and everything is connected in the same identical fashion, making the connections again a lot faster. So who is this actually designed for? Is it designed for a DIYer or is it designed for a professional electrician? Now my opinion is, is that Leviton is going after both DIYers and professional electricians, but in my book, this is designed mainly for DIY electricians, especially if you're looking to replace and do simple jobs such as you know just simply replacing a bad light switch or replacing even a bad a receptacle because they do make receptacles as well. Um, this is a really great option because it's going to make the job a lot faster, like I mentioned before, and to me it's going to be a lot safer and more reliable Again, especially if you're not used to doing electrical work on your own. Now, if you're not comfortable doing electrical work, I highly, highly recommend going ahead and consulting with a professional electrician as well. I never recommend tackling any kind of electrical work unless you feel that you're qualified. But that said, if you're doing simple work such as this, this I would highly recommend looking into versus a traditional receptacle or light switch uh, that you would usually find in your home improvement store. All right, so now let's talk about the downsides. At the time of this recording, these are only available in a single pole light switch version, a three-way light switch version, and a standard 15 amp duplex receptacle. So that means if you're having to work on anything other than these types of switches and receptacles, then you're gonna have to go with something else like the traditional style. Another potential downside is I've only been able to find these on Home Depot's website, not even in the store. So these are very limited at the time of this recording, and I hope and I'm assuming that they're going to not only expand who carries these, but also the different types of uh, solutions that they have available in this style. It's just that this is very new, very new to the market right now. So I will be sure to leave links in the description below and update those over time as I find out more locations that actually sell these. And I'll also be sure to update the description as well as they hopefully continue to extend their lineup. Because I do think that this is a really good solution. As I said, depending on what your needs are, if you're a professional, you might wanna skip it right now. But if you're a DIYer, I definitely recommend checking these out. Okay, that's all there is for this video. Hopefully you found it informational. If you did, you might like this other video here where I cover all the specifics of the Decora receptacles. So be sure to check that out. Otherwise, I wanna say thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.